Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings today in partnership with Hip and Healthy as part of their Back to Wellness program. I'm here with the wonderful Sadie, founder of Hip and Healthy, and we're going to be working you through our brilliant get to the core session. We're going to be working from our center, getting you connected, getting you a little sweaty, and definitely challenging you at some stages. But don't worry, I'm here to guide every step of the way, and Sadie is going to be taking our beginner modifications. When you're ready, of course you can advance and I'll be there to meet you. All you need is a mat on the floor, or perhaps two towels if you are sensitive in the lower back. Always work with your body, listen to your body, make this fun, and please check that you can see us when you're standing kneeling and lying down. We'll be doing all three during the course of the session. Let's get started. <laughs> so feet are parallel. They're going to be pointing forward and just a little softness through those knees. Start by drawing the hands front and back and lift your core. That's where it is. That's where we're going to be working. From there, sweeping arms up. Take a second to knit the ribs together and then press the head back into your hands as your elbows broaden and your collarbones widen. We're going to lean to the left Exhale, come center. So standing abdominal work, connecting breath to movement. Beautiful. All the way side, all the way center. Inhale, exhale. Good, let's do one more set. Just connecting in all the dots, right? One more. I can really feel it in my shoulders Ooh. already. Drop them down. Yeah, you got it. Now from here, bring palm over palm. Just twist, twist, twist. Moving through the music, you're aiming for those hips like headlights to be pointing forward and twist through your core, like the lid coming off a jar. Good job. You've got eight, seven, six. Then we're taking a squat in four, three, two. Now slow it down. Make sure those knees slice over middle toes. As you squat, and then you're going to extend and draw right knee and left elbow together. So it goes drop, squat, twist. I love this. It gets those thighs involved. It raises your heart rate and you're really starting to feel that core twisting and deepening for four more. We change direction, guys. In four, three, two. Left knee goes down, twist. See if you can tap right elbow to left knee. Can they make friends? Whew, yes, four, nice, three. Wide second team in three, two, one. So step wide. My personal new favorite. You're going to slice those knees down, lift that torso again, reach the arms wide, reach left, reach right. So this is all about isolating the movement of your ribs above your hips. A little faster if you can, in four, three, two, we go right, left, good. And it's that action of sinking deep through the hips, getting those thighs on fire, as well as getting your core nice and tight. Are you ready for eight, seven, six, Five, four, deep breathing. Two and one. Step to the front of the mat. And we're just going to make our way down to the mat. So roll down, take a little shake of your head, say, Yes, Chrissy, I'm having a lovely time. Oh, great time, Chrissy. <laughs> and then go ahead and come all the way to seated. From there, keep the feet together, reach your arms forward, or for a little more support, hands can slide down the sides of your thighs as you roll your way all the way to the mat. Do you like big diamonds? Who doesn't? Oh, exactly. Bring your legs up. Make a diamond. Heels are together. You didn't specify. Toes are just a little diamond. Heels are just, yes, diamond. Big I feel, diamond. I feel like you tricked me now. <laughs> Knees are apart. Yeah. Hand behind your head. We're not going to lift the head just yet. We're going to focus on a tiny press forward with the heels. Micro bend back. So the knees are not coming any closer than your hips. And they're only pressing a couple of inches away. Now, could you flex your feet, Sadie, and press your heels tightly together? Did everything just fire up? So this is about those lowest abdominals and your pelvic floor. Ladies in the room, zip them up, yes. Think of zipping up your favorite pair of jeans. Four more here. You've got four, press back three, push out two, hold it there. Little tiny clicks of the heels. Tap in, tap in, aha. Uh -huh. Now could you start to lift your head and add a curl? Ooh, yes, hello upper back, yeah, nice. You've got five. Four. We're going to repeat this two more times, so let's get into it. Heels pressed together, rest your head down. This time you could go three-quarter length, Sadie. So we're out for two, we pull it on back. For the warriors in the room, add a curl of the head. So it goes scoop and reach, press on home. You do not have to add that curl. You are focused on squeezing the heels together, 
and drawing it back. Could you breathe? Exhale, push. Inhale. This time we come out and hold. Little tap to those heels again. Tap, tap, tap. And every time you tap, can you pull deeper? Oh yeah, you could check in with your abs. I've got my finger there just saying, oh, hello. You've got just eight, oh my gosh. seven, six, five, no pooching, four, three, final push, let's make it happen. This time, full extension is an option. Adding in the curl, back and back. Exhale, push. And if you are going full length, can you squeeze in the thighs as you come forward? Four, three, I know, Sadie. It's yeah. two, this is serious. So either three quarter length or full extension is where you hold. Let's point those toes this time. Little taps to the heel, 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 heel. Curl higher, widen your elbows. Yes, it's burning. Four, ten, nine, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four. She's screaming three on the inside, two, and one. Hug your knees. Oh my goodness. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Never ever so, hug more. take a couple of little rocks in and out. Release any tension in the lower back, guys. And then go ahead and bring your hands behind your knees and gently come all the way up. Ooh. So, we're going to come into a sideline position. It's called a mermaid. Lovely. I always think this is super glamorous. So, we're going to stack the feet and then walk the left hand, sorry, right hand, slightly forward and on diagonal so that you've got that to kind of push and pull you, yeah? Go ahead and sweep the left arm overhead. Take a lovely stretch. As we sweep up, we lift and tap the leg, and then we come down, but you don't rest the elbow. It's staying active. We lift and lift. We lengthen down. Now, what are we working? That little concertina waistline. Good, on the beat. We're up, we're down. Are you getting your tricep as well, Sadie? I think so. Yeah, good. I love an exercise that works hard for you. <laughs> working the body 360 for four more, three more, two, now hold it. Press your hand against your thigh. Press your thigh against your hand. Ha! Ah, harder for five, four, three, two. Tiny reaches. It goes lift, lift. Micro lift for maximum whittling of waistline in five. We're going to do that again in three, two. Are you having fun? Press that hand harder this time. Press your thigh harder. Ah. Yeah, so this is an isometric hold. This is so powerful for your body. Are you ready to take those pulses? Here we go. We've got ten. Nine, good, just reach for your goal, team. Goes five, four, yes, smiling, three, it helps. Two, last push, you could do this. I think push. I'm very mal Smile, it today. releases endorphins even if you're not happy. Push harder, three, two, reach it, 10. We're in a side plank, Sadie, you'll be pleased to hear. In eight, seven, reaching, six, five, yes, guys, four, three, two. Now lower onto your forearm. You can stagger the feet or stack them. Everybody push those hips high, bring your hand behind your head. Lift a little higher, then wrap the elbow down and up. Beautiful side wrapping. Hips stay absolutely still and silent. It's just that upper torso for eight, seven, six. Then you're gonna be a star in four, three, two. Hold it there, reach the arm, that's option one. Reach the leg, that's option two. Lift a little higher, smile, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Bend both knees. They can kind of stagger slightly. Catch the outside ankle. Take a breather. Inhale, draw the right arm high. Exhale, side bend. This feels so good. Oh, I yeah, know. It needed that. Ooh. So we get to be mermaids all over again on our second side. Go ahead, ahead and come and rest onto that left thigh this time. Come towards the back edge of your mat. That will give you a really good guide. So hips, toes, and then hand towards the front edge of the mat. That underneath hand. Remember, that's your little spring, isn't it? Go ahead and reach the right arm overhead. Sweep it. Leg and arm tap, reach over head. And you can take the gaze with you, which feels nice and kind of meditative, even though what we're really doing is now starting to fire those abs again. Good, are you getting your tricep as well? For three more slow, all the way down. Make it a gorgeous sweep for two. We're gonna take it on the beat on one, you ready? Reach it overhead, it goes. Tap, reach and lower, exhale. Could you reach a little further towards your toes every time you lift? You're also getting your glute, which I love. Did I mention that? You've got three. You've got two. Last one, hold. You know what's coming, don't you, Sadie? Press hand against thigh, push. For five, four, three, tiny pulses. On one we go, little reach, push, reach, reach. So reach towards your toe as you pull. Yeah, you've got it. Five, four, we push again in three, two, one, Hup. push, sink. Incredible Hulk, that kind of, whew, gonna burst all the way. <laughs> Good, you've got this. Tiny pulses again, it's eight, seven. We have one more like that, you can do this. Five, four, three, how's the waistline? Ooh, Two, yeah, I know, it. one. 
No more mouth and tops. Press it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Final push, little there. We're in our side plank very shortly, team. Keep breathing. Six, five, yes, four, three, two. Lower down onto the forearm. Stagger the feet if you did that the first side, steady. And then press the hips up. If you want to stack them, be my guest. Hand behind your head. Wrap that elbow down. It goes wrap, wrap. So the hips stay lifted and still. You're wrapping that upper torso around, getting into those obliques. Four more here. It's four, then you're a star. Three, yes you are. It's two, how are you breathing? Last one, lift the arm, that's option one. Lift the leg, that's option two. Smiling, not optional. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take a mermaid. Fold the legs in, sweep the arm high. Well deserved, reach overhead, oh I know. So we've got one more killer little upper ab work, then we're on our front. So it's gonna be kind of the road towards the end. So toes are gonna to come towards each other. Yeah. Make a little diamond shape, not diamond, bigger diamond, bigger. Yeah, yeah got perfect. it. Make an arrow or you can always hold on behind the knee. So know that that's your little modification if you need a minute, that's where you're headed. We're gonna roll back and down, hold it there. Press palm to palm or continue to have fingertips behind knees. Twist, right, centre, hollowing the abs. So take a look down at your abs. You want to see them scooping like a salad bowl. Aha, uh -huh. are those shoulders driving down as well? Should we take that on the beat? It goes twist. So your modification just looks like that. If you're taking that slice, your knees and hips do not move. Adding the leg lift. We go lift, lift. Now I love this twist through the torso. That leg lift gets your lower abs, inner thighs, outer thighs. It's all working. <laughs> Five, four, Sadie's favorite is coming up in three, three, two, last one, make a prayer. Drive your right elbow to the floor and come onto your right glute. If you need help, oh, lower leg difficult. comes down, that's okay. Otherwise, both legs shoot in and out. You ready? We've got five, that's all. You've got four, that's all. You've got three, you can do two more of anything. Two more, last one, hold five, four, three, two, one, and you're done, swing lift straight up. Right away, you're in your arrow. Try it now. We go left, right, left, right, leg, leg. It's all layering in. You choose the layer that works for you. Good. You've got this. For eight, six, four, three, two. You know what's coming. Make a prayer. Tell us, say a prayer. Come on to that left elbow. Shoot the legs out, in. So you know you could always drop that lower leg but keep it active through your core team for five more. That's four, you can. Three, two, hold it out there for five, four, three, two, one, and done. Come to all fours. So, brief respite. Exhale, curl into your cat. Should feel really good through your lower back. Inhale, open the chest. Do that one more time, pushing the floor away, hollowing and deepening. Then open the chest like you have a little shining light there. Lowering down onto your front, just a couple of back extensions. Legs can go as wide as your mat if your back is sensitive. Go ahead and bring both hands underneath your forehead like a pillow. Lift your core. Then we lift the head up and up, down and down. Now for the warriors in the room, you can lift the legs off as well. That's just an option. If your lower back is sensitive, do not go there. It's not necessary. But everybody, I've just put an ice cube under your abs. Woo! Lift them up like you had a nice surprise. <laughs> that was your surprise. Two more. Beautiful. Last one, everybody hold at your maximum. Tiny presses up. So we think about the core as being the front, but actually the core is 360. So in our format, we work all corners of the body. In four, finale coming. In three, two, press your forearms down, Sadie. Squeeze your legs together, hook your toes under. Find your stillness in your beautiful plank. Finale here, we go, run, run. Run those legs to your finish line, running towards your goals. Yes, good, you've got this four. We hold in three. We're gonna squeeze and hold our stillness team. Hold and squeeze, close your eyes. Five, we're running again in four, squeeze it harder. Hardest, three, two, run as fast as you can, right to the music, run. So this is your final bit of cardio, final little challenge for those core muscles. Keep going, five, four, we hold again in three, Two, she's smiling, squeeze it together. That releases endorphins, it's all good. Squeeze harder, five, four, close your eyes. Three, two, final run, here we go. Run, eight, seven, six, 
you're counting down to your stretch in five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness. Ah, you did it. Come on to those forearms. Lift the chest, take a little roll of the head to the left. Roll your chin down and around. That should release any tension you picked up in the jaw and those neck muscles because that happens when we're working our abs. And then go ahead and draw that right thigh in, so catching your foot. Yeah, this is a great stretch for runners, by the way, because you can't cheat. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> not that you ever would. No, of course not. Draw your leg in. Squeeze and lift the abdominals. So the action of lifting the abdominals would increase the stretch for those major muscles like your quads. Good. From here, coming all the way up to seated. Ah, lovely side bend to finish. Reach it side. Keeping that right sit bone grounded, then take a twist. Beautiful breath. Take it all the way to the other side. And that music tells us we have completed our core workout. You guys have kicked it. You've done so well. Well done, Sadie. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you here at Silver Linings Live. And I hope we can roll out the mat together very soon indeed. Meanwhile, have a fantastic day. And yes, you will feel those core muscles tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>